welcome to the old kitchen. So today we are going to be making vegan bacon, aka bacon, because uh, sometimes, you know, I did used to like a BLT, so we're going to try and make a substitute for that, right? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Um, it is a long-winded we recipe, 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 I won't lie. Everything that you need for it is down there because there's like there's a lot of ingredients. Don't be put off, it's all about packing in the flavour. Because basically it's a dough-based recipe. We're using vital wheat gluten and then we're using lots of lovely herbs, spices. We've got some smoked tofu in here. It is worth putting the hours in because once you've done it, you are going to have like loads and loads and loads and loads of slices in the freezer so you'll have like bacon, bacon for like months. Wow. So yeah, so let's get started. So we're going to actually make two doughs because we're going to make it like the streaky bacon. Okay. So kind of give it a bit of a show. You like doing this, don't you, George? You come on. All right, I'll do this. Give it a whiz. Oh. You see the Marmite streak on there, giving it the savoury option. Yeah. What's this one? Um, what's in there? You've got your pinto beans, you've got some... Oh, there's just so many ingredients I've been doing, so just check it down there. Yours is less... Um, this is less liquid than this one. Okay. This is more of a liquidy That's one. Okay, They're right? two completely different recipes. So in our bowls here, we've got our dry mix, which is vital wheat gluten, protein powder and nutritional yeast. We've both got a bit of that. You've got different amounts of different sizes, but we... Yeah, same things in there, the dry mix. So let's open up our... You can smell the mushrooms in here. We've got some lovely dried mushrooms. Wow start to mix it so just kind of because what we'll do is bring it together and then we'll get it out and knead it okay. now it's kind of like lost its powderiness get your hand in there just to kind of bring it together I kind of like go like biff it in like, like that, that and twist it and twist. so we're just kind of getting all the powder into the dough wow 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 wow, wow, wow. oh let me see you work it once you've got it all come together it's time to give it a knead. With seitan, you really need to knead it for like 10 minutes um, to sort of develop the gluten. Thanks, George. Okay. So now we are gonna knead, it. knead away. It's gone very springy. Yeah, so you like, you'll kind of feel when it's right, it'll kind of be quite st stretchy and stringy. So what we're gonna do is kind of make it out into a sort of rectangle now. It kind of helps to kind of like use your hands and just pull it out into a, rectangle so just kind of like roll it out and like just bang it bang you do yours All so right. try and get a similar sort of shape to me I'm just gonna stretch mine out a bit more let's just get <laughs> you hold those two bits so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it onto there so I'm just gonna kind of pull stretch it, it stretch it yeah you don't want to rip it but just kind of like trying to get this sort of See what you're shape. try and match the shape yeah because this is you're gonna we're gonna lay this up, right? That's right. Okay. Yeah, I reckon that'll be fine. Right? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay. So pop it on there. Ooh. You just gotta kind of try like, and line it up. Yeah, bit. just line it up and kind of slightly mould it a bit together. Intertwine those fibres. Yeah. You know when you get kind of like the strips in a streaky bacon. Yes. Do you mind passing me the knife from over there? So what we're gonna do is just kind of like cut it in half. Mm -hmm. So now we just need to put one on top of on top of other. Oh wow. So really? just yeah, like line this. it up like that. That's it. So that's kind of your wow. bacon there. Your you can bacon. see that now, that looks like a bacon strip that way. Yeah, there we go. We're going to wrap it up really tightly because we're going to boil it. Just pop it down. So if we just kind of... So we're going to give it a good few goes. Well and truly sealed. We don't want any water to get in there and make it all sort of spongy. True. So now we're going to simmer this in some boiling water, just on a very, very gentle boil for two hours and then we'll come back when it's cooled down. Cool. Alrighty, let's All get right. that on the go. Right, so here's a cooled down one. So we're going to slice it up. Ooh. Look at that. One massive hunk of bacon. I'll just trim off the end. This is actually cooked now because obviously it's been boiled. Yeah. So an off cut like that, you can cut it into little cubes, pop it in a carbonara. So look at that. Look at that, there you go. I think I've gone a bit thin there, but it's no, that's good. That's okay. You, want you don't want it to be thin. too thick. So let's cut that all up. Let's okay. do a few more slices. There we go. Before we fry it, because I like the bacon to be hot, let's get our bread ready. Okay. What bread do you want, George? What sort of sandwich do you want? I think that looks BLT like. And then you can load up with your lettuce, you know, tomato. Okay. Okay. Tomato coming in. <laughs> Before we actually fry, just want to talk about my secret glaze. Bit of marmite, all of these. Wow. 
Yep, a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce in. About a teaspoon of the liquid smoke, That's it's really nice. strong. Right. That's it, lovely. A squeeze of Marmite. And then if you can put about a tablespoon of the maple syrup in. That's it. Wow. So just kind of mix it up like this. Get this ready before you fry. So you've got it to the... It's going to be tense. I know. What we'll do is we'll fry it up. And then the last kind of 30 seconds, we'll add a bit of the glaze on and fry it again. It goes really caramelised and crispy. So nice. let's take that over to the... Over to the oven there, George. Cool. Alrighty, that is done. Amazing smells. Smelling delicious. good. Right, let's whack wow. this in. Look at it. That so is incredible. Kind of pick it up like this. Lay that on there. Oh my days. That is good. Should we cut it open? Yeah. Let's. Look at that. Um, I know. Are you oh, filming this? Oh my goodness. That's so good. Oh yes, yes. Wow. Go on. Let me have a proper Take a bite. A proper bite. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> it did take a while, but that is so good. Better than the better, It's better than ordinary BLT. Oh, I nice and one! You know, it's vegan, so yeah, brilliant. Win. Thank you. Right. Well, wow. I shall be good having job. some as well. I hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. Oh, that's, um, that's for me. Actually. I'll look after to make myself another one. Right. Um, yeah, everything you need. There is a lot of things you need to make it. Is just down there. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you soon. Bye.